Hi, I'm Teresa Coward. With years of experience and thousands of real estate deals under my belt, I've seen it all. The good, the bad, the ugly. So let's get ready to bust some myths. It's really never okay to owe an offer, unless you're an investor. That's probably the only case that you can get away with that because there's no emotional investment. Um, the danger that you run when you lowball an offer is um, you will alienate the seller a lot of times and they will not consider any second offer that you're that you're going to put in even if it's a good offer so what we tell our clients is that you need to put in a reasonable offer it may not be your best offer or your last offer but it needs to be a reasonable offer that will not alienate the seller Okay, so once again, um, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. And a lot of times you will get the uh, old, you know, fishing where you get reeled in by that low rate and then you find out that there's a lot of hidden fees or you find out that that rate's only available for certain people. Um, what we always encourage everybody to do is talk to some local lenders. They can usually, um, give you really, really accurate information. They know our tax base. Um, they know what our insurance is usually like in this area. They know the flood zones. Um, as realtors, we know lots of them and we are happy to give you their number if you want to. And their information is free as well. Call me, I'll give you some numbers. Thanks for watching this episode of Real Estate Myths Busted. Be sure to send me your questions so that I can include them on next month's episode. Thanks again.